Rabbi Yochanan tells us in Malmadita Torah Harbi, if you learn Torah a lot, don't think you're a big guy. Because that's where you were born. Your mission is to learn. Chavetz Chaim has a beautiful drasha on this. He says like this, in Mesech Shabbos, it says the following. Abaya says, may I receive schar and be rewarded because every time I saw a Talmud Chacham who finished the Mesechta, I made a Yom Tiv. So the Chavetz Chaim asks the question, why is Abaya asking for schar? What's that all about? He goes on to say, you know what? How do you know if a person is learning Lishma? Do we know if a person sitting in a base measure is learning Lishma? We don't know. So Chaim Velazhin says, you know, there's a way you could find out. When your friend finishes a Masechta, are you happy for him? Are you happy for the prestige of the Torah going up? That's how you know the person is learning Lishma. Because not only is he happy that he's learning, but he's happy for others. When he sees others accomplishing, he's happy. And this is the legacy of Rabbi Gornish. This is the legacy of his children. Not just are they satisfied that they're accomplishing, are others accomplishing. That's how you know if the person is Lishma. It's not just about me. Abayah said, I'll make a Yom because I'm so happy that the Torah is flourishing. That's what it's all about. And like Rabbi David said, sometimes it's not so simple. Sometimes you go through a rough patch. So I had the pleasure to be in Chaim Berlin maybe 15 years. Famous letter that Rabbi Yitzchak Huttner received in 1963 from one of his Talmidim who had gone to the Midwest. Rabbi, it's not going. When I was in yeshiva, I had so high hopes, expectations. I was going to be a gross gadol. I'm floundering. I'm not meeting the, the expectations that I've set for myself. What's going to be with me? And the answer that he gives him, it's absolutely amazing. And he tells him, I got your letter. A failing that many of us experience is when we focus on the lofty level of great gedolim. We think they were born that way. Chavetz Chaim was perfect in not speaking Lashon Hara. Rabbi Chaim Kenevsky was a master of Torah from the time they came out of the womb. And that's the biggest mistake that we make. Everyone is awed by the purity of speech of the Chavetz Chaim. But do we know how many times he fell? Do we know how many times he was nichshel until he became who he became? This is the greatness of Gedolim. They may fall, but they get back up. He says, you know what? The whole world has it wrong. Like David said, Sheva Pamim Nafal Tzadik Vakam. Seven times the Tzadik fell, but he got up. Mistake! The Rebbe says, where do you put the karma? Don't put the karma after tzaddik. Put it before. Shabbat Pamim Nafal. Tzaddik will come. Every single one of us can fall. And because we get up, we're a tzaddik. It's all about where you put the karma. One word. And he gives him the chizik to go on and not give up. 